Exactly. Nice. And we have a little rice vinegar. So a little more sour in there. Nice. So we cook, we cook this down. It obviously yes. reduces down yes. a little bit. Do you eventually put it in a food processor or blend it up or? Uh, yes, blend it or food processors, anything. Else. And at the end, yeah. At the end it ends up looking like this. Almost looking like a uh, butternut squash soup there. Almost. Yeah, totally. So you can either put it in a food processor if you have one or you can use one of those mini one hand processors, which is what I little use. immersion blender. Yeah. Uh, one other thing we're gonna make while we have you here, and I wanna make sure we have time for it, is uh, guacamole. Yes. Guacamole is a staple of every re every uh, Mexican restaurant. I wanna see how you make yours. All so right. chef, we've got our avocados there. Yes. Let's we're get gonna... to it, show me what you got. So we have a... Um... I like to cut with a, with a knife, like... Yeah, score it. Big, exactly. He's cutting way faster than I would, than I would yes, feel safe yes. cutting. We're not in a hurry. We want to send you home with no, 10 yeah, fingers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> faster than I would. Here we go. Thank you. Now, you're going to know one of the tricks right. on how he makes a guacamole. Okay, I'm dying to see. Here we go. Yeah, so we chose the best avocados right now. Okay, we're this, gonna start with the go ahead. onions. We're onions. Gonna put a little bit of onion. All of the recipes call for about two tablespoons of each thing. Yes. So you'll notice that. We have the uh, serrano pepper. Serrano peppers, and then still got some seed in it, so we're gonna have a little yes, bit of cake. Yes, exactly. At the restaurant, you can order it mild, medium, or spicy. So spicy. we keep that in mind when people order it. And that's the cilantro. Cilantro, the required ingredient. Yes. So now the most little salt. And now we get in there. The mocajete is great. Like not a lot yeah. of people have one of these at home. Yeah. But a, a mocajete for making like this old volcanic stone thing for making guacamole is so great. It really picks it up. And one of the yeah. interesting things is that when we're making this, we're going to be using it with the mortar and pestle and using it that way. And you're going to see how we make a very special paste. There we go. <laughs> yeah. So that's one of the key things to making sure that the guacamole really comes together is this paste that binds it in the beginning. Yeah. So. You can smell right away how much fresh Oh yeah, all those fresh things yeah. coming together, yeah. So this gets ground down into a paste before you add yes. the avocado. A it's lot of people, I think, mix it all together and then no, just blend. No, and it's just like anything you know when you're cooking or when you're making music, so much of it depends on the foundation and the layers. And the layering. So this is crucial for a really serious guacamole. Okay. If you want to help me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> little bit, please. All right. JD, get in there. I'm getting in there. I'm getting in there. We, <laughs> are, getting a little, up. we are getting a little pasty in here, too. <laughs> so it's good. It is got a little All right. bit pasty. Right? All right. Wow. You, are you going to dig out the guacamole? So All right, now we, add, we added our guacamole. We so, have a little bit of avocado time. I'm sorry, avocado. avocado, of course. That's okay. That's to make our guacamole. Well, you're getting a little bit of DeVita brain. You see I'm how getting ahead of myself. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Folks, you can enjoy these dishes in Brooklyn at Jolie Cantina, or you can make them right in your own home by logging on to bettertv.com, and we'll have the recipes right there. And as we go to break, I'm going to eat a little guacamole on chips. Yay! Wait, there's holes in the chips. Oh, my. What happened?